hi guys so welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about how to preserve yams in canada this is me the informatic chick and it's all about faith immigration lifestyle and lots more so let's get into it so this is a nigerian yam i got from an african store flanger in halifax nova scotia so first of all i'm going to cut the yams cut them up oh you can see he's already getting bad hence i needed to think about how to um freeze them i got this hack from flanger's wife the owner of the african store one of the african store in um here in nova scotia in canada so i'm just gonna peel them up peel them up properly clean them up guys yam gets bad here because of the weather not just yam and vegetables but on today's video i'm just going to be showing us how um we're going to preserve the yam in the freezer you cut them up vegetables i'll show you another video how i preserve my vegetables using ziploc bag if you don't have that um sealing machine right so now i'm gonna cut them up in different sizes this ones will probably be, be for frying based on the way i'm cutting them up cut them up nicely straight um, in this rectangular beautiful shape okay these ones I'm going to use for yam or for yam and the yam um, for, um, the other ones I'm going to use for bounded yam and yam porridge while these ones I'm going to use these long ones for fried yam if I want to use them now these round ones will be these ones are for um yam this yeah, yes sorry <laughs> i think i first read this video too much so this second ones are used for yam and egg the stripes ones for egg for yam chips and then this ones in cubes for yam porridge yes and i'm washing them very well because it's sandy because i'm not going to wash them again because it's going to be straight from the freezer into the boiling water you're going to see how i'm going to do it so these are my ziploc bag that i'm going to use to pack them all up with the different sizes yeah and put them in the freezer so any day i'm planning any food either fried or boiled or pounded yam i know which one to take so i'm packing them up in my ziploc bag guys and um this is how it looks yeah i'm packing them up packing them up now so they do i'm here oh oh we ninja people and then pack them up pack them up wash my knife yes 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 very clean okay i'm adding more cube yam for porridge and pound egg yam put in the ziplock bag and zip it up neatly yes okay so the next thing i'm going to do is pack up the ones for chips pack it up nicely look at it I'm packing these ones up for so this is how they all look guys and they're beautiful and i put them back in my freezer yep and close them so any day i want to use it just bring it straight out from the freezer and into the boiling pot don't defrost it just straight from the freezer put it if you defrost if you defrost the yam it's not going to turn out well but just straight from the freezer into the pot and put some salt i'm boiling this one because we have to use it for lunch today then this is it this is how it turns out look at it it's still looking very good you can actually use this for dun -dun. so the ones that you cut out like strip you're going to boil them slightly then now you can now fry them your fire will be looking very nice when i try that i'm going to show you how it turns out and this is how it turns out the mass you and chicken and my having a nice nice lunch thank you for watching follow us on all our social media bye